Hi friends, it's me, Simply Sherry, and I'm going to start a new series of organizing my long-term food storage prepper pantry that's up here in this closet in one of the bedrooms. I do have a video of showing you how to organize your preps in a small space, meaning just a closet or even behind a wall or uh, on a wall behind a door, and I'll link that in the iCards above. So what has happened is that what I origi originally had put that has stayed organized, but I've added more preps. And so those preps have just, I've just put them in bins that I thought would stack. I've even put here in crates, the uh, cans, which I think I'm gonna keep that idea. I like that idea. And I've definitely added number 10 cans, which is in a separate video. So the basic function, the basic organization is working, but what's not working is that one, I have more, okay, and so I need to create more space, get rid of, meaning get rid of the stuff on this side, which I'll show you in a little bit. And the other thing that's not working is, uh, is that there's a lot of wasted space. So in the beginning, not having as many preps, I used these shelves that I had gotten from Walmart and they worked great. But as you can see, as I put the jars, you know, there's wasted space here and there's a little wasted space there, I think down here was okay, okay? Now I could add holes over here and get another shelf and, but when you buy that, you have to, you have to buy the whole shelving thing or I can make my own shelves, but honestly, I'm not that much of a, I can DIY things, but I'm kind of past that. Like there's other things that pass, meaning I just don't have the capacity. I rather spend my time and energy and other things. And so I just want to get stuff that works uh, that work. Okay. And then, so what I'm thinking of doing is, uh, getting adjustable shelving where you just buy the bar like that. And then you can put the shelves at whatever level you want and work with my preps that way, because not everything, um, is, uh, jars, not everything is cereal boxes. Um, but I want to be able to organize it nicely i mean i know what everything is and where everything is which of course is important but i just want it to look better where anyone in my household can come here and get what they need okay so over here is was organized when i was doing some online teaching i did that for about two and a half years and i'm done it's been over a year since or almost a year since i've been done and i've just left that there so i know there's stuff here that i can get rid of like there's my teacher's card i need to i already decluttered that and I just need to declutter it knowing I'm not going to do that uh, job anymore. And so I just need to get over that. I'm just a little bit sentimental. And then up here I have that stuffed animal that's sentimental to me. That's when my son was four. Now he's taking his master's. So got to deal with that. Probably keep it. And then here are a lot of paper. And so my daughter was very crafty and she loved the construction paper. And even recently, she's like, can you keep the paper? So, and she's about to go to college. So she won't even be in the house. So what I'm planning on doing is taking that paper and all that stuff on the left and getting rid of everything, okay? And in order to do that, it's got to go on these shelves here. And so I have to declutter more. Okay, these are long-term files. These are boxes I'm not totally using, so I have to rethink that, but I've got to find a way to put the paper from there onto my shelving over here, okay? And then what I'm planning on doing, let me get back to this. What I'm planning on doing is this whole side will be the number 10 cans. I'm gonna move them over there. I'm gonna get more of the long, ready, already done food storage like that, but in the bigger pails and I might fill that whole space over there on that side. So imagine that's, that's a lot, okay? And so this is, this is a closet. I have a fairly large closet, but it's not the biggest closet ever, but you can see there's some height there and there's some um, length, okay? So I'm trying to utilize every inch of this space because then I can just close the door and it's great. I live here in uh, the Phoenix area and I can't store food. I don't have a basement. I don't have a root cellar. Definitely can't put it in the garage because it gets very hot over here in the summer and the garage even hotter. So this is the space 
that I've chosen and then I'm expanding on. The other thing I have to consider for this project is that this is my YouTube space, okay? Um, half of it is my YouTube space. Behind me is a guest bed. Um, so multi-purpose room. We actually call this the workroom. Um, let's see if we'll keep that name if I, or I might just call it the YouTube studio. Who knows? I do have a friend eventually who'll come over and help me you see what equipment I have or whatever to do a you know a nicer setup for my live videos or um, I've done a couple and this was my backdrop and so I just want the bookshelves to be open and just have pictures there of course my name and then the name of my channel and this one this one I'm going to change to a picture of my dachshund who sadly uh, passed a few months ago I'm just trying to pick the right picture and you know, when I do this whole room, I'll do that. And then uh, I miss Molly so much. So anyway, I've also kept this shelf open and that's just decor. Um, my alma mater, uh, Cal Berkeley, Harry Potter. I keep saying Harry Potter. Harry Potter series that I've read I love. Okay, and just some of my favorite pictures. Then these hold books and other things. I've already done a pass. I, I decluttered uh, a couple months ago. I might go through them again and probably another time because I got to fit whatever's in the closet over here. I might put the paper over there. These I'm not really um, utilizing. So let's see. This totally works. You know, the filing with the binders I love. And then this is my, uh, my old TV that I just had hung up and so it feels a little bit like a new TV, but eventually I'll get a new TV there. And then this is my uh, desk. Okay, so I just have a little makeup there, my Kleenex, a little makeup so I, when I go on video or for a meeting, I just check myself there and have some powder. Uh, I love this equipment. I'll definitely link it below. You can do overhead shots like that. You could do, put your phone, you can do your iPad, love it. And so this section is um, just these cubbies. And I went through here already, organized those, keeping everything in there, unless I'll see again if I can declutter. My camera equipment, travel stuff, um, like travel bags and you know little travel size things. And then this was my son's desk area, but he's moving permanently to the East Coast in soon so most uh, he's here visiting so he'll probably take this he might leave his computer so we'll see with that because he's getting a computer for work he might take this so this is going to be open space for me and it'll be perfect when i shoot um videos of like organized packing or things like that it can be an overhead shot like this so i like that since this is my youtube space it's a multi-functional room you got the prepper pantry guest room um, my office and my YouTube space. Uh, I just got to keep all of that in mind. So when you're doing an organizing project, I think number one thing is to think of what is going to be the function of this room. What is it going to do to support my life and the activities of my life? So those are the four things and none is more important than the other. They all, they all need to happen. And so luckily we do have this room for that. So here behind the door, I was thinking about this space to hold my YouTube equipment. So right now I, I have a few things, not too many, but now I have to consider what will fit in this wall as far as prioritizing what I'm going to get. Uh, right now I have these lights. I have a few other things that are in the closet that I'll you know pull out later during the project, but I was thinking of hanging them here. And then you saw inside the closet that I have gift wrapped. I'll probably have a few other things, but I wanted to probably put an over the door organizer here for the gift wrap. So join me on this organizing project. I'm not sure how many videos it will take, but it's just going to be casual and, you know, work with me, follow along with me as you do your organizing project or just watch and hopefully get inspired or find some tips that I'll throw out along the way. So the next step that I need to do is to bring these desks and cubbies all the way out here so that I would spa have space over here to take out everything, uh, to take this stuff out. And then I will move 
those cans over there, okay? Then put the shelving, right? And then I'll put the hooks for that to um, organize my equipment. So I'm thinking that's kind of be, that's going to be the sequence as far as getting this project started. And um, I think after that, that's a lot of the project because the fun part begins when the shelves are already on. So I'm gonna probably have someone do that uh, from TaskRabbit. But the fun part is putting everything back and uh, playing Tetris that way. Before I leave you, uh, I wanted to show you this part of my room. I didn't, I wanted to hide it, but let me just show you. So this is organized also. I've tried to keep this with stuff that I love. I've already done a decluttering of this, same time as the other side about two months ago. This is where I keep the gift, uh, the, what's that, the greeting cards. So I'll probably put the gift cards in there. So th there is a place here, I believe, to put all the, the stuff in the closet. Okay, these are my office supplies right here. And some more filing there. Um, the Wii that I don't want to get rid of. So I, have, I do have sentimentality, okay? These are books I bought when my son was... Uh, four when he got that tiger so i don't want to get rid of that my plan is to eventually give them to my grandkids can you imagine i'm talking like that okay uh never thought that would be like something i'm totally looking forward to uh, or keep them here and they can come visit me and i can read to them like these heavy books here right uh here are some more organizing books that i still want to keep now this I, I might get rid of and get a different type of light, but for now, I'm keeping it, um, keeping this fan. I just bought uh, about four new fans for downstairs. This came from downstairs, so I just don't want to spend money more money on that, although this looks bulky, but I'm keeping that. This I love, carpet cleaner, floor cleaner, love it. Um, it's up here because I was going to do the hallway and my master bedroom, but I have it here for now. And this I just got to bring back. So, uh, but back downstairs to my command center. Okay, and then, let, should I show you the bed? Okay, I'll show you the bed, but I had to make the bed first because this um, is, me personally, it looks a little sad. Okay, but it's a twin size bed with a trundle underneath and it works when we have guests. Uh, I actually have guests coming in this month four of them, two will be in the guest room downstairs that, that has a queen bed and two will be up here. And so it works. So I want to keep it um, as a part guest room and I'm going to need a lot of help with really making the bed pretty. So there's some ideas I have. Definitely want to get new pillows. Um, but this is when it's made up and it doesn't get any better So at the moment. So I, I've got to spend some time figuring this out and give me some comments below what you think I should do as far as this area. And then I like that as far as the side table, because when you open the trundle, you know, I don't have to move the stand. So this, this works. You can move the trundle all the way out over here. So it's not like they're underneath that table. Okay. So you've seen the whole room and, um, yeah, join me on this organizing project. The main goal is to get this um, organized. Second thing will be the equipment, and then all the gift wrap and stuff from there organized over here. Then the bed will be the last thing. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see, see you in the next one. Bye.